moving to another story which actually I think can only happen in India. You can score a zero and still get an engineering seat in Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh produces the maximum number of engineers in the country. They've got over one lakh engineering seats going vacant last year. So the reserve quota can get zero in an entrance exam and still get in. Zero in the entrance exam? Don't lose heart. You can still get an engineering college seat in Andhra Pradesh where no qualifying marks are prescribed for reserved category students. Nine students with zero marks have reportedly qualified to get admission into engineering colleges in the state this year. Technically, if a person gets zero marks, SCST candidate, if he gets 40% at the plus two level, he may be eligible to enter into a BEBTIC program. Those in the open category need to score 25% marks in the entrance exam and 45% in the 12th class exam. The irony is that with 3 lakh engineering seats in Andhra Pradesh, 1 and a half lakh of which go vacant every year, there are no takers, even if there were technically candidates with zero marks who have qualified for admission. That is because supply far exceeds demand in Andhra Pradesh. From 32 colleges and less than 10,000 seats in 1994, the number has grown to 720 colleges with 3,39,000 seats now. Quality will definitely suffer. That is again reflected in the pass percentage and the placements. Because the companies will only go for good uh, students. A lot of people are left unemployed. Though they are engineers qualified, but the caliber is low, so they do not get uh, placed. What fueled the growth in numbers was incentives plus a fee reimbursement scheme started by YSR by which up to 80% of the fees is reimbursed by the government. The bubble appears to be bursting though. This May, out of 153 engineering colleges wanting to shut shop in the country, 56 were from Andhra Pradesh. In Hyderabad, Uma Sudhir, NDTV. Unbelievable. Uma Sudhir uh, joining me tonight uh, on that story. Uma I, you explained that story, but it still seems zero in the entrance exam. 40% in class 12 is enough to get you an engineering seat. And the point being raised that nobody wants to hire these students anyway. So it's just a big farce in the name of education. Certainly appears to be, Sonia. Uh, certainly a fast. What we are told is that the past percentages in the colleges, in fact, are no more than 25%. And many of these people, in fact, do not get hired by companies. I have with me T. Hanuman Chaudhary, who's uh, been the architect of the telecom policy in uh, the country as well. And he's somebody who's been very worried about the kind of intellectual capital that we are producing. Sir, huge number of engineering colleges here in Andhra Pradesh. Is that something that we should be proud of? Let me tell you, in all over India, there are 3,500 engineering colleges. All over India, every year we have an admission capacity of 13 lakhs. Of the 3,500 engineering colleges in the country, 700 plus are in Andhra Pradesh. Out of the 13 lakhs, more than 3 lakhs is the capacity for every year for people to be taken into the engineering colleges. Now, to enter into these engineering colleges in Andhra Pradesh, there is an MSET examination, entrance examination. The examination is such that an LKG can then he is qualified to enter the engineering college. 160 questions. Each question with A, B, C, D. I take an LKG boy, teach him A. Wherever there is a A, you take it off. Statistically, 25% of them will be correct. And that is... So are we making a farce of all this total, entire... Total, total farce. Because we, as I said, an LKG fellow, by ticking off, statistically, 40 of them will be correct. And that is the entry qualifying mark, right? So that is the farce. Second farce, we have got reservations for a certain categories. So for those reservations, whether they get the zero or no marks, they have to be admitted. So this is the total devaluation. I am glad that realizing this one, Tamil Nadu has abolished this entrance examination and is going purely by the marks that they are getting in the intermediate. Now, in Andhra Pradesh, out of these 700 odd colleges, 225 have been sanctioned in one year 2008. That two year 2008 is six months before elections in 2009. By giving these permissions, the state, whosoever was giving these permissions from the state, they have made a lot of money. With 220 colleges, yes. how many yes, teachers sir. are required? Into 20. Yes, sir. 
Yes. Where were the teachers? There are no teachers. So how can anybody teach anything? So what the, what you are saying is that there were political motives really for this entire sanction of these colleges and the quality of education certainly something that is very very worrisome. Back to you, Sonia. Hi, to Mana. Here the Save Merit campaign is being launched in Andhra Pradesh. Can't think of a better place to start. Unbelievable story. Hopefully things will change after you've reported this tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.